just a very fortunate win for us. Uh, we were in big trouble for a while there. We were down 11, I think, with four something to go. And Andre Marrero, Andres Marrero, bailed us out with some great shots. And I thought our defense turned up a, a pretty good. Our pressure at the end was pretty good, and uh, got ourselves a couple of extra shots in the basket. So, uh, very fortunate to win the game. Coach, down to four minutes and 20, 24 uh, seconds left, late in that second half. Your team's down 40. I'm sorry, your team's down 52, 60. What are you telling them, you know, at that point, you know, after they've made some, you know, some areas in the beginning? Yeah, just keep plugging away. And, you know, we, we fight till the end. I think that's what's, there's a resiliency about the group. I'm hoping that, that that's our signature. And, uh, you know, just got lucky, really. It's, but you, you're telling these guys to keep plugging away. You never know what can happen here. We made a couple threes. And again, Andreas Marrero helped sa save us. But we made some pretty good defensive plays as well. Love the see exactly how that whole last minute or so unfolded on film and we'll watch that as we go back into the office tonight. So, but just a very fortunate win for us. Coach, we've also talked stats in this, this press room. We talked about steals, we talked about rebounds, we talked about turnovers, turnover percentage. Um, it seems like every team who's going to be successful in any league, you know, they have stats, you know, or a specific stat that they have to focus on and have to excel in order to have a, a successful season. Um, for your team specifically, you know, we're in basketball's in full swing, season's in full swing. What's the stat you have, you've identified for this team um, for them to do well in their upcoming games in, in A-10 competition? Yeah, I think you, on the defensive side, you have to be really solid in the scoring area. We were, I guess our numbers in the first half were good, and we just see what they did in the, in the second half. They were 12 for 30, so they were right at 40%. But we held them to... 38% shooting. If you can do that every game, then I think your team's going to be in pretty good shape. The other part on the offensive end is, you know, we've we got to take care of the ball more. We, we turned it over 10 times in the first half. So, accordingly, we only turned it twice in the second half, and that helped our, that certainly helped our, our comeback. Uh, but we got to take better care of the ball in the first half. We were in big trouble there as well. But those two steps, taking care of the ball, getting good shots each and every time down, making your offense efficient, and on the defensive end, uh, we just got to get to shooters sooner, better. Uh, uh, just see what the uh, offensive, they had 12 offensive rebounds. That, that's not good enough, to, but uh, that's another uh, way that we have, to, we have to be better, keeping people off the glass. Big shot plan for Andres Marrero. Um, was it like a set play, you know, that you guys have planned for him, or was it just, you know, um, the on one, the fly? Or yeah, on the last one was on the fly. I mean, we, we got that loose ball and pushed it up. I can't, can't. Uh, I'd love to see the film and, uh, and answer that question perfectly for you. But somehow Dre wound up with the ball, and he had, obviously he's got supreme confidence in his shooting ability. And he knocked that out. Just an amazing shot, to be honest with you. And uh, so. But we do run some stuff for him, but he, he's a guy that, that is pointed uh, for the opposition. They don't want to get it, let him get too many looks, and he, he's got to continue to work as hard as anybody does to get shots. He's not the fastest or quickest or anything else, so he's got to work ten times harder than everybody else to get shots. Making them is one thing, getting them is quite another. Coach, what do you think of your your, your backcourt tonight? Obviously, you got Brant Brantley, you got Burgess, and then um, Gill initiating plays as well. What do you think of their performance tonight and how it contributed to the win, if any? Uh, yeah, they, they did a good job. I mean, they, uh, we need more points from them. Uh, I didn't think Burgess uh, was, as, uh, was as pointed toward scoring as he, uh, we want him to be. He's got to do a better job of that. He oftentimes will just defer because he's not a, a guy that has to score in his mind for us to win. He wants to do all the other things, but we need him to score. We need Brantley to score as well. So uh, it wasn't their best game. I don't know that it was our best game. I would give a lot of that credit to Loyola. They came in here and, and uh, wanted to win the game. I thought they did just about everything they could to win it. I was, I would tell you that I was worried because we're coming off just two emotional games that we had played. Uh, so you're worried about that. I'm worried about Saturday. You know, they came in last year, Lafayette came in here and kicked our butt. And, uh, we got to be ready to go on Saturday.
Coach, last question oh, last. for me. So you mentioned Lafayette, and you mentioned that you know they kind of gave you a run for your money last year. Um, you also mentioned in practice that specifically to this team that all the games will be close, you know, and not because they're not talented, or not a, a, not a, you know, they're not a bad team, but just all the games will be close. Competition is just going to be like that this year, you know. What would be the mentality going into Lafayette, considering you just, you know, have a have a close game just now and it's a big one? Yeah, the mentality is the same. They they came in here last year and we were not ready to go, and I'll, I'll own that. And uh, we need to be prepared to play Lafayette. They they know what they're doing. They know how to play us, and uh, they run really good offense. So we'll have our hands full on Saturday. We just need to be ready. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.